Iceland is experiencing a continental drift this very moment. The country is splitting apart, beginning on the north of the country near the city of Husavik and making its way down south near the city of Skugafors. There is, however, a twist compared to your usual continental drifts. There will also be a third crack that will form an island beginning directly near the center of the country and heading west towards the capital of Iceland, Reykjavik. Iceland, an incredibly unique country located in the North Atlantic, midway between North America and mainland Europe, is commonly referred to as a land of fire and ice. This is due to its unique relationship between volcanoes, glaciers, and geothermal hot springs. What truly sets Iceland apart is its location on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where it sits on top of two major tectonic plates, the North American and Eurasian. This position is unusual, as the island sits directly atop a divergent boundary, where these two plates are continuously moving away from each other. Iceland's landscape is a testament to the raw power of the Earth's geological forces, offering an environment that's always changing. At the core of Earth's geology lies the concept of tectonic plates, vast, solid slabs of rock that make up the Earth's lithosphere, sitting on top of the semi-fluid athenosphere. These plates are in a state of constant movement driven by the heat energy from the Earth's core, which causes convection currents in the mantle layer. The interaction between these plates fundamentally shapes our planet's geography. Tectonic plates can interact in a variety of ways. They can collide, slide past each other, or drift apart. The collision of plates, known as conversion boundaries, often results in mountain ranges, while their horizontal sliding, or transform boundaries, causes earthquakes. However, the focus here is on divergent boundaries, where plates move apart. Divergent boundaries are zones of active extension, where the crust is being pulled apart by tectonic forces. As the plates diverge, they create gaps or rifts. Magma from the mantle rises through these rifts to the surface, where it cools and solidifies, forming a new crust. This process, known as seafloor spreading, is how new oceanic crust is created and is a primary force behind the evolution of the Earth's surface. Iceland, positioned right on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, offers a unique opportunity to study this process on land. Here, the North American and Eurasian plates are pulling apart at a rate of about 2.5 centimeters per year, giving rise to frequent volcanic activity and ever-changing landscape. Due to the constant spread of the plates, Iceland is one of the most volcanically active regions in the world, with a major eruption occurring, on average, every four to five years. This volcanic activity is responsible for Iceland's unique geothermal features and contributes to the formation of its diverse landscapes. The interaction between the tectonic plates and the rising magma also shapes the amazing landscapes that characterize Iceland. The island's terrain includes a fascinating mix of glaciers, black sand beaches, vast lava fields, and basalt formations. The rift between the tectonic plates is visible in several places across the country with the most notable example being the Thingvellir National Park. Here, visitors can walk between the continents, witnessing firsthand the remarkable geological processes. The same geothermal energy that fuels Iceland's volcanic activity also powers its numerous geysers and hot springs. The island is home to some of the world's most famous geysers and hot springs, including the Blue Lagoon. This spa has incredible healing properties due to it being one of the most mineral-rich springs in the world. Fissures, another unique geological feature in Iceland, are cracks or openings in the Earth's crust caused by the diverging tectonic plates. These fissures, some of which are filled with crystal clear glacial water, offer a thrilling experience for those who can snorkel or those who'd like to dive between the continents. The theory of Iceland splitting apart has clear evidence visible in the very landscape of the country. Geological features such as rifts and fissures are not just fascinating natural phenomena. They're the telltale signs of the tectonic activities below Iceland's surface, gradually reshaping the country's geography. Thingvellir National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the most vivid examples of Iceland's dynamic geology. It's located in the Rift Valley where the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates meet. Visitors here can walk along the Almanageo fault line, a massive fissure, and witness firsthand the ongoing divergence of the two tectonic plates. The park's network of cracks, crevices, and chasms are a visible reminder of the country's geologically active location. Another example of the split is the Silfra Fissure, a narrow crack filled with crystal-clear glacial meltwater. This underwater ravine, 
located in Thingvetlir National Park, is a popular diving and snorkeling spot. What makes Silfra unique is that it's essentially a gap between the continents. Diving or snorkeling in Silfra means swimming between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. Modern technology has become a crucial tool in understanding and monitoring the movement of the tectonic plates. GPS measurements, also known as global positioning systems, rely on a network of satellites that orbit the Earth, each transmitting signals back to receivers on the ground. The receivers can calculate their position based on the time it takes for the signals from multiple satellites to reach them. This process allows for the measurement of location with extraordinary precision. Advanced GPS technology, capable of detecting shifts as small as a few millimeters per year, is currently being used to track the gradual separation of these tectonic plates. The advanced GPS technology is typically part of a larger, integrated geodesy network. These networks consist of numerous GPS stations distributed across the globe, or in the region of interest, that continually record their positions. When the data from these stations are analyzed over time, scientists can detect shifts in the Earth's crust that indicate tectonic activity. Data from GPS stations across Iceland is how scientists were able to come to the conclusion that the island is expanding on average by about 2.5 centimeters per year due to the separation of tectonic plates. The ongoing split of Iceland is contributing to the formation of a completely new land. This happens as the plates move apart and create a gap, allowing magma from deep within the Earth's mantle to rise to the surface. As this magma cools and solidifies, it forms a new layer of crust, gradually expanding the island's landmass. One of the most compelling examples of this process in action is the volcanic island of Sertse, off Iceland's southern coast. Born out of a volcanic eruption that began in 1963, below the ocean surface, Sertse emerged above the waves as the ejected lava cooled rapidly upon contact with the seawater and solidified. The eruption lasted until 1967, by which time Sertse had become a sizable island, offering a unique opportunity for scientists to observe the birth and evolution of a new landmass. However, the formation of a new land is not just limited to offshore eruptions. On the mainland, the ongoing split creates fissures that occasionally fill with magma. One such event occurred in 2014 to 2015, during the Hulohrun eruption, the largest lava eruption in Iceland in over 200 years. The magma spewed from a fissure and spread across a vast area, forming a new lava field. These processes occur over geological timescales. The land expansion rate might seem slow to us, averaging around 2.5 centimeters per year. But in the context of geological time, it's remarkably fast. Given enough time, these incremental changes can significantly reshape the landscape of Iceland. Looking into the future, the ongoing tectonic activities will continue to mold Iceland's unique landscape, potentially giving rise to new islands, mountains, valleys, and other geological features. If the current trends continue, and Iceland keeps expanding at the existing rate, it might even split into two or more separate islands, although such a drastic change would likely take millions of years. The potential changes in Iceland's geography are profound. As the island expands, new landscapes will form, dramatically altering the topography. Coastal regions could change, new mountains and valleys may arise, and additional islands might emerge from the sea. For the people of Iceland, these transformations could bring forth challenges and opportunities. Infrastructure and settlements could be impacted as the land shifts, requiring adaptations in urban planning and engineering. Some areas might become unsuitable for habitation, while others could offer new possibilities for development. Natural resources, such as geothermal energy, could become more accessible or change in distribution, affecting Iceland's energy landscape. On a broader scale, the splitting of Iceland could also influence global sea levels and climate. An increase in volcanic activity, as magma fills the growing gap between the diverging plates, could potentially contribute to changes in sea levels. Volcanic eruptions can also emit large amounts of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, which can influence the global climate. However, the exact implications are complex and depend on a range of factors, including the frequency and intensity of eruptions, the specific gases released, and how they interact with the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs>